My last question to you, sir, is this. Why should India pray like hell that there is no war in the Middle East? Are, are energy right. concerns? India are there? has Plus every there is a reason to worry very yeah. deeply. Hmm. Energy is obvious. 80% hmm. trade investment hmm. are people. Hmm. 8 million people. India has crucial interests of the kind that taken together no other country has. Nobody has 8 million people living there. Correct. They are number one tra trade partner and source of investment. Whatever is going on at home. India is the one country also that has the longest possible engagement with this region. 5,000 years right from the time of Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa. An uninterrupted relationship that has been constantly refreshed and has been, there is a deep sense of mutual comfort. And India has never interfered in the politics of the region. Therefore, our status is very high. We have friends all across the region. Therefore, we are, I would argue to you, extremely well-placed to initiate a diplomatic process. The sad fact is that we have not shown any interest in that regard. The kind of assets we have, people like me, there have been many scholars who have written on this, uh, that India should lead a, a diplomatic process uh, for promoting peace in the region. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm just thinking to myself, have we heard from uh, India after Hassan Nasrallah's killing? We haven't heard from the top three, right? We haven't heard from the Prime Minister, from Amit Shah, neither have we heard from the Foreign Minister. Do you think that is deliberate? And when it comes to India, will Iran be willing to listen? We've had a, we have had a relationship that has gone up and down. It's not entirely unpleasant. Would Iran and more importantly Israel, that is simply not interested in peace right now, be willing to listen? Which is why, why probably India feels... The war, feels ongoing wide war the doesn't always present a good opportunity. But reflecting on peace should not be ruled out. What India should do, I know what it has not done. And I regret that very deeply. I don't think that there is ever a time when you can say it's too late. Huh. There's always time available if you have the right intention and the mental and intellectual commitment. Uh, you need patience. Hmm. You need to work with people, bring people on board. Hmm. Uh, what we should be doing now, given the fact that we have relations, we have credibility, mm -hmm. I also feel we should bring on board certain players who carry credibility in the region, mm -hmm. countries like Indonesia, Malaysia, or whatever. At least let us start thinking of it. Even if you can't go to the field just now, mm -hmm. at least start putting people together, starting talking about it. Mm -hmm. That has not been evident so far. Okay, so you're saying it's never too late. If India wants, it can still intervene or at least start talking to people that guys... Absolutely ho gaya bahut. Now let's just come to the peace table. Absolutely okay. correct. I okay. bring, I, that's exactly what I'm trying to okay. say. Okay, Talmiz Ahmad. Thank you so much for coming to the studio and we are really grateful for your perspective. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I wish you all the best.